Okay, this is chapter six. This is the final chapter in the how to make a principal character tutorial. So here is my final mesh. I've taken each piece and decimated it down to what I thought would be an appropriate level. Then I've taken all the separate subtools and merged them together. So I'm going to open the 3D printing exporter plugin and you see this huge uh, update size ratios button. So I'm just going to click that. And what that is going to do is uh, create this bounding box that goes around your character. So then you see width, height, and depth. And uh, right now it's set to inches. And uh, I'm intending to print this character at 12 inches. So I'm going to open up that slider and just type in 12, enter, and then that will proportionately scale the other two dimensions. And then you have uh, these exporter options here. I'm going to click STL binary because it's a, actually a smaller file size than the STL ASCII. Oh, here, above it, there's this uh, big units button. And so you can toggle between inches and millimeters. And I'm going to go with inches. So then uh, I click STL binary, and then I, I'm going to save out my file. So I type in uh, filigno underscore monster underscore 12 IN for uh, 12 inches. This is just so you know which file is which. Uh, there's something where it could be good. It could be a good idea to export two or three different sizes. Um, okay, so then when the file is properly exported, you get this gray box, STL file exported, and uh, gives you the location of the file, and then you know you're good to go. Uh, but with the multiple sizes, uh, printing is is uh, you know it's affordable within reason. So what you might want to do is contact. A 3D printing company uh, and FTP them two or three different file sizes and then they'll send you a quote back for each size so you can so you can decide how much you wanted to invest in this custom print so what you want to do is just make sure that your STL file is under 250 meg so I'm checking mine here and it's 33 meg and uh, so obviously it's way under and that is a 670,000 poly character I believe and that was decimated down from 14 million polys uh, but again it looks great okay so that's it for this tutorial here's my final model just kind of spinning around and uh, as far as final thoughts go I just think that it's really neat that you can sculpt the character on the computer uh, and then take that file, FTP it to somebody, and then in a week you get a box. You open it up and you you have your character. You can put that thing on your shelf, and it's like, you know, you it's a fully realized idea. Uh, it's it's just the grown up version of going to a toy store and you know picking up a new GI Joe or a new He Man or whatever toy it was that that basically inspired you to to do this work in the first place. So this is the end of the tutorial. Uh, I hope you found it entertaining and helpful.